Greetings YouTube. This is Mike Kelly 7. 18th of November. Two thousand twenty, by the way. <sighs> Heading out for lunch. I was uh, thinking about new camera, kind of moto vlog kind of thing. You know, like what do I do? What do I do for my moto vlogs? If my 10C Pro is dead, and my 10C, the old one is kind of not so reliable what do I do <sighs> and uh, Pete's 1800 helped me decide it just I hadn't thought through it so I was gonna get the GoPro 9 with the media mod and then buy an, a microphone to run into the helmet so I could make my motor vlogs right and then I realized after watching Pete's 1800 that uh, if I do that then when I go on group rides I won't be able to record the conversations with my fellow riding people like Moose 3971 and Harley Trek and whoever else I'm with that has happens to have a Cena so I mean, I, I could get the GoPro dongle thing or for the 8, or I could get the media mod for the 9, buy a microphone and use that for the moto vlogging. And then I could use, you know, pull out a Cena 10C Evo or Pro or whatever for when my friends are with me, but nah, nah, I just want to do one simple thing, you know, I'm, I don't want to have all these different things. I'll be screwed if Cena goes belly up for some reason and they stop making these integrated cameras with communicators. Uh, I will be a sad man. I, I do like the ability to moto vlog, have decent audio, and be able to record my conversations and listen to my music and do all the stuff that you do, you know? I'm spoiled. First world problems, right? So what am I doing? I'm going up to uh, Cycle Gear and I'm gonna get me I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get me that Cena 10C Evo. And this time I'm gonna save my receipt and I'm gonna photocopy it. I'm gonna put the date down that I got it. I'm gonna be very, very, very careful about that. If there's any problems, I'll send that thing back and be all indignant with my first world self. How dare you sell me an inferior product? It's, it's basically because I don't want to have any doubt as to whether or not I can motovlog. I love motovlogging. It is a habit. I don't know if you love watching my stuff. I mean, some people probably think, God, this guy is an idiot. Well, I never said I wasn't. Matter of fact, I'll probably agree with you. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot who rides a motorcycle and makes videos. And there you go. I'm not a content creator. I'm not watching, you know, the number of views went up for that video and the length of time went up for the viewership. People watching more of my videos more often for longer periods. My marketing tools are working. Nah, 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 nah. I'm just making videos. I like to watch them later on. And I like to comment with you guys. I love the, the comments that we have. Sometimes I'm so busy I can't reply. I apologize. Or I get in a mental funk, you know how that goes. But uh, I do try to, to reply to you and have conversations and make friendships and all that jazz. Now see here, this is the temptation right here, right? I could go to the left of this vehicle over this yellow line. 
and get up to that left turn thing a little bit a little bit faster a little little bit but then there might be a nail or something there because that's not where cars typically always go so I learned my lesson I got a flat tire doing that once and never again will I do it I will never do it again <laughs> oh look at this guy behind me bye bye baby uh -huh, I try to be up my butt That's another thing I love about motorcycles. If somebody's being a little bit too uh, huggy on your butt, simple twist to the throttle and off you go. I thought that was a cop for a second there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Mikey's in a good mood today. I don't know why. It's kind of cold. It's 50 degrees. And uh, I had to put on my, I have a, a, a wool sweater from Ireland that I got so I got that on underneath my jacket I probably should start incorporating my cum bear vest that's exactly what it's called folks my cum bear heated vest you should probably start putting that on if the temperature is going to be 50 midday I probably need to do something better than just a wool thing and this jacket truth be told is not made for colder weather I just closed the vents and I'm usually pretty good. I think right down to 30, uh, I'm pretty good right down to 30 degrees uh, wearing what I currently have, this jacket. But for the really cold stuff, I put on my FXRG jacket from Harley Davidson. How dare you? How dare you put on that Harley jacket when you're in this Honda? Oh my god, the blasphemy. Didn't they used to burn people to stake for that? They should have. All right, so let me tell you a little story. Let's see, not a story. Uh, I'll give you a topic. I got a story for later on, but I got a topic for you. All right, so I've cut the cord. I did that a while ago. Uh, I no longer have cable TV. So I just pay the cable people for my internet access. I get the, I don't know if it's the best one that they have, but I know it's not the lowest one. So I either got the middle one, or the better of the two so I have pretty decent uploads uh, download speeds and pretty decent upload speeds broadband you know so I stream all the time I stream YouTube videos all the time on my TV Netflix I watch a lot of shows on there uh, Amazon Prime we use a lot of that I've got the CBS all access uh, channel or app whatever and I've got um, the Disney plus one it took me a while to finally say, all right, fine, I'll get it. And I got it. And man, that Mandalorian. Oh, I love that show. God, that is like the best sci-fi show. This season, it is taking a little bit long for them to get to the, the damn fun parts, you know, with the Jedi and stuff. But still, it's pretty awesome. I'm very happy with the Mandalorian. And, you know, you get to see all the other stuff on there, too. And because I have Apple TV about the Apple TV box you know I can rent movies and stuff it integrates with my Apple music because I'm an Apple guy I got an Apple iPhone my computers are all PCs but my my phone and my my TV they're Apple even though my TV is a Sony so that's an Android whatever and I watch a lot of this uh, online streaming stuff I mean constantly and if I got charged by the by the the data gee whiz I'd be I'd be poor in a day and watch this stuff all the time especially since I'm home with the COVIDs right and my girlfriend's home with the COVID she's you know not with the COVIDs but you know what I mean you're home because COVID making it so you have to work at home so she's got the TV going all day when I'm there I have the TV going all day I was trying to read a book the other day because I really like the Dune series, and I know they're coming out with that new Dune movie. They were supposed to come out with it in December, but now they're pushing it to next year, which I think is stupid. But anyway, so I love the original Dune movie, and I liked the TV series that they had. Dune, uh, Dune. then they had Children of Dune, I think they might have had Dune Messiah, the, the sci-fi TV did. Loved all that stuff. James McAvoy, I thought he made a great Leto. Leto, Leto, whatever. Anyway. 
So I thought, let me read these books again, because I, I read them when I was in my 20s, my early 20s, and then I read them again when I was when I hit 40 or 42. I read all the books again, and I really enjoyed it. And I thought, let me read them again. Let me read them again. They're fun. I love reading these things. I pick up the Dune book. I start reading. It's one of them paperbacks, you know. And I got my glasses on. I cannot see a flipping thing. Nothing. I mean, that print is teeny weeny weeny. Even with my bifocals, you know, I got the progressive lenses, the bifocal thing. Even with the bifocal part, I can't see a damn thing. It's all blurry. What am I going to do? Take out a magnifying glass and read it? No, 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 no. I could get a book reader, Kindle, or one of them things, read it on a screen. Eh, no. Maybe I could buy a big version of the paper book and flip these giant pages, you know? <laughs> But no, what I ended up doing was I went on YouTube and I typed in Dune audio book. And they got the full audio book in multiple versions on on uh, YouTube for free. And uh, I listened to that. I just listened to it. You know, they get the different characters. It's all these British voices, I notice. I don't know why everybody wants everything read to them with a British voice. You know, accent, you know. So. Except, I think it was... In one of them I saw, one of the characters, for some reason, was an American. And he was like a New York American or something. I can't remember. It was funny. You're listening to all these, you know, Shakespearean accents, you know. The spice extends life. The spice expands consciousness. And then this other guy's like, yeah, the spice is awesome. <laughs> I hope I don't get smushed. This guy behind me is doing pretty good. So anyway, now I, I listen to books, audio books. I, I watch a lot of science and archaeology and astronomy and cosmology and all that jazz. I was watching a fair amount of politics and stuff, but it pisses me off so much. i got to be careful, so I, I try to limit that. Like I said before, when I uh, abandoned social media for a little while, it was just getting to me. So, I try not to do that anymore. I, little bits, snippets. I'll watch like the, the summary of the news. NBC Nightly News they have on YouTube. It cuts out all the commercials. You get to see all the stories in the first five minutes. You know what they're going to say because they're tonight. And they tell you all the stories. And if there's nothing interesting, I just go to another video. Sir Spooks. I like Sir Spooks. I like uh, Nukes Top 5. I watch a lot of the spooky stuff. I like that stuff. Time Team. I love watching those British people digging in the ground over there with their archaeological stuff. So, uh, that's modern life, right? I mean, remember the old days when you had the TV antenna? And, you ha and your dad would make you hold it. Alright, hurry, right there! Right, now go get some tinfoil, put it on the end! Don't move! You know, every time dad wanted to change the channel if he didn't have the remote. They didn't have remotes in the early, early days. Well, they did in the 50s. I know the rich people had them. But my family didn't have nothing like that. So, you know, you had to walk to the TV and change the channel. Michael, who put it on channel 56? I want to watch a creature double feature. That kind of thing. Nowadays, nope. Hell, you don't have to touch anything now. You can just tell your TV, hey, TV, you know, give me a massage or whatever. As I went my way toward Raleigh. See, I'm positioning myself. I'm positioning myself. Big old bus. Don't worry, we're good. All right, I'm going to cycle gear, folks. Oh, that, that. Oh, I thought that was. <laughs> I thought that was a, a bus. It's not a bus, it's a, it's a dump truck. And then I thought it was an ambulance, and I thought it was a fire truck. I gotta stop smoking this meth. Jesus. All right, folks, here we are, here we are, hmm, Burger King. You wonder why I'm fat, right? Cycle gear, I live near one, I'm so happy, I'm so privileged. All right, talk to you later, hopefully soon you'll be seeing a 10C Evo vid of mine.